<laughs> yeah, I can see the torture in your eyes. <laughs> Yes! I think it's a reference to Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Because yeah. they, they really the have... Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Composers React. You might be thinking, huh, where's Paul? Well, Paul is doing some important business stuff uh, outside of the country. Exactly. So, when important business stuff happens, then... Uh, I will be the host for today's Composers React. And today we have Jeremy. Exactly, Joshua. It's the, it's the first time we are doing that together, right? Yes. My, a pleasure, man. A, a pleasure. A great pleasure. Hopefully it's the, di the new dynamic duo people are looking for. No, come on. I mean, Paul is not here. You need another charismatic, you know... A duo. You yeah, know. exactly. So exactly. we are here. <laughs> so, Jeremy does, let's see, what was it, 3D? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 3D environment artist at, at Kyokan Interactive, yes. Exactly. But you are also an avid consumer of yeah. games and movies. And, and music, obviously. And music. Uh, and in, so. uh, I mean, working without music, it's nah, not possible, man. Exactly, exactly. So you brought a trailer today, but yeah. which is it? Well, you know, when I'm working, I like to listen like an awesome mix, volume one, or awesome mix, volume two. and. Soon we will have the Outsome Mix Volume 3. So we're gonna talk about... Guardians of the Galaxy? Volume 3, let's volume go! Three. Exactly. Um, I mean, you know, like you asked me about like a trailer and of course we're making like a trailer music reaction. Mm -hmm. And I think music and Guardians of the Galaxy are like really, you know, connected. Mm -hmm. It's really important. Mm -hmm. And you know that when you will watch a movie like that, you will have like a good time for your eyes, but also for your ears. For your ears, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. All right, let's dig into the trailer. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm Star-Lord. I formed the Guardians. Met a girl, fell in love. And that girl died, but then she came back. Came back and told her dick. <laughs> oh, please. He left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. My sacred mission is to create the perfect society. Bad guy, question mark? He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. Got the spacesuits. I want you all to know that I'm grateful. You'll fight this side, my friends. Incinerate them. <laughs> we were always searching for a family until we found each other. Are you ready for one last ride? Fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? Do not bring me into this. <laughs> Knock it off! What? <laughs> Never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. <laughs> well, just pure darkness. Pure darkness. Anyway. <laughs> oh, he picked a pretty set. I can see my soul in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I can see the torture in your eyes. <laughs> yes, I mean an odor of your face and your arm. And... <laughs> So yeah, like always, like I uh, think really good, you know, like uh, music to take. Mm -hmm. uh, I also like the fact that they try to to match, you know, like the drums of the music mm -hmm. and what happened on the screen, you know, like mm. it's really dynamic. Yeah, with with the guns. Yeah, exa ex <laughs> ex exactly. You know? And you 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 already know, you already feel that music will be important in exactly, the movie. Exactly, exactly, because that is one big part of the Guardians of the Galaxy 
story in general. Yeah. Just uh, Star Lord and his connection with music. You know? Yeah, when uh, his uh, mother, who is about to die, uh, give her this uh, amazing Walkman that everybody would like to have, you know. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and each time he's like, oh, volume one, and then you watch the second movie, oh, there is more music. That's yeah, so cool. exactly, exactly. So yeah, exactly. And do you do you have some kind of a connection with the music that are in that is in the mu uh, uh, so that is in the movie? Usually, well. It's definitely the thing that it's not of my generation, you know, I'm mm -hmm. like way too young to to listen that when they remove those kind of music. Mm -hmm. But since the movie, you know, like kind of brought that to me, mm -hmm. uh, I just want to listen that because it's yeah, definitely yeah, kind yeah. of my jam. Yeah. And I have the feeling that, you know, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy do something similar to another trailer reaction that you did, with, which is Stranger Things. Mm. They try to give me a feeling of uh, melancholy about uh, a time that I never knew. Mm, kind of like a nostalgia for, yeah, yeah, for exactly. a time that you I'm, never I'm knew. I'm feeling exactly. nostalgic about an era that I never knew. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and this yeah. is definitely with this kind of music, I'm like, wow, damn, like, what are we listening today? It's yeah, yeah. really bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I also have that with, especially with, uh, with Stranger Things and Guardians of the Galaxy. It kind of, with the Walkman and kind of the old aesthetic, especially in the logo in the beginning, yeah. you know, with, with the stripes and the exactly, old kind exactly. of colors. Yeah. It kind of brings that 80s, 70s nostalgia back, you know? It's really There's cool. also a reason why. Um, Star-Lord has left the Earth during that time. Mm. So for, for him, he's still kind of stuck in this in this uh, moment, you know? Yeah, certain song, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. understands it yeah, except yeah. him. <laughs> except the people who are born at that time, <laughs> exactly. yes. But that, that pushed me to, I want to understand that. Well, I'm, please, let me listen to music. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. Yeah, I'm excited to see this movie. It seems like quite the epic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, let's talk about, you know, like away from the music and more like the, the movie itself. I yeah. really like James Gunn mm. and James Gunn is like a really nice uh, movie director. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're going to watch this movie or like the first one or the second one, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to be always crazy. Yeah. But it is this, there is this kind of a coherence around it. Then mm. the other Marvel's movie kind of miss, I think. More recently, I watched, you know, like Thor, uh, Thor uh, 4. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is Love and Thunder? Love and Thunder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also crazy, but like it's, it's way too much, you know. It's too extreme. Yeah, for me, uh, yes. I, I think, I think uh, Avengers also kind of has that too extreme. Yes. Like uh, the portals opening, uh, the, the darkness coming into the world. It's like every movie is about this. Can we do something yeah, else? That is, that, is, that is really true. Yeah. But for Guardians of the Galaxy, because you you visit, you know, a completely crazy place and you discover new species. Mm -hmm. This craziness have a more, uh, not like I say impact, but you can understand it more, you know, mm -hmm. like it's there for yeah. a reason yeah. and maybe it's more easy to accept it. So yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, for example, you know, when they jump over the, the spaceship and they have all those colorful <laughs> um, uh, space suits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, I think it's a reference to Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Because yeah. they, they really the different have, colors, yeah, yeah, they really have the, 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 the color of the, of the, of the ghost in Pac-Man, you know? Yeah, so I'm yeah, like, yeah. is it that? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of, kind of goes uh, with the '80s kind of yeah, reference exactly, vibe, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, it, it's it's nice that I especially like this kind of thing where uh, when when there's kind of a a lore and they make like a whole new thing, mm -hmm. like it, like when Guardians of the Galaxy first came out, I was like, what, what, what is this? What is what is the importance of these characters but mm. of course when you get to avengers and things like that then it's uh, then you understand the importance but i really like that they're taking this one little world and it's just so different from everything else yes yeah, yeah, yeah is that it, and it's also just like a very special story that it's also very relatable you know because there is a human in that that doesn't have any powers he's just kind of good at being himself, you know, and yeah, and I, I will. I will make maybe one clarification. In the second one, we know that he has kind of power because power, of his, yeah, his, yeah, yeah. his father, you know. But yeah. yeah, now he's just a simple human, simple guy. Yeah, who just want to fall in love with uh, his girlfriend who died but came back, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's interested in the eyes of her sister, and <laughs> it's going to be an interesting love triangle. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it was the best of us. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So, if you don't have any other comments, I uh, I want to thank you, Jeremy. Oh man, wow! wow. <laughs> Someone thanks me that that never happened. Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and thank you for the invitation. Always uh, yeah, like no liking to you know to do that. Yeah. Uh, also because I'm not quite you know in the music. Mm. Maybe I can bring another you know uh, perspective. perspective. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, ah yeah, yes. Exactly. Little kid that we, we're not finishing <laughs> our sentence, sentences, but we we say the same word and wow, what a dynamic, guys. Perfect. We're, we're we're the we're the backup dynamic duo for what Paul is doing important business stuff. <laughs> exactly so, uh, the backup duo, right? Well. <laughs> I can say that, please, let's uh, let's see what the movie will be uh, once it will be released in the theater, because yeah. I really want to see that one. This is going to be quite the epic. I think it's going to be uh, maybe the final journey. Uh, I'm not too sure. I but, think but, James but, Gunn say volume three and then yeah, it's cause, over. Because it looked like quite, kind of getting references here and there that it is going to be the final one. Yeah. You know. Well, uh, you can see at the moment Drax or Gamora, like uh, holding... Uh, holding... Yeah. Spoiler alert, he's dead. I don't know. I mean, it's in the trailer. <laughs> it's in the trailer. So. <laughs> so, Why would they, they spoil no, the movie? come on, he's just taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I saw him screaming as well. So very, lots of very interesting things, which makes me very... It's a good trailer. It's a very good trailer. Gets me excited for the movie. Yes. So... All right, people, thank you for uh, listening uh, our beautiful uh, review about the trailer of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And don't forget, if you like our content, subscribe, leave a comment. We really like to read what you are to say about our video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. Bye. Hey there. I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this one, check out this video or that video. If you want to support the channel, make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel.